Well, Mars is, uh... Yeah, he started coming here for a melee, and it's, it's definitely much smaller scene. It's like walking in, especially after House Smash 4 or Die Down. Yeah. So the last time we came here on Tuesday was um, right before Ultimate came out. It, it was completely dead. Yeah, no, trust me, like... <laughs> no, we all played Ninja Turtles instead because it was so dead. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, Mars often to go Mega Man. I've heard DM say that he really does not want to fight this Mega Man. Maybe Mars knows that. <laughs> he tried to fall through the platform, but he ended up just doing a little Mega Man teabag right there. <laughs> oh, down Ooh, throw. Down throw. Yeah. Oh, misses the four there. Yeah, you're much quicker on me in the commentary here. <laughs> <laughs> can tell you've been done this uh, more than once. Eh, done a couple times. All right. DM going to take the stage, but uh, Mara's no Ooh. stranger to situations like these. You're just going to sit there and throw him right off the edge. Leaf Shield's such a potent tool in this game. He's just gonna creep up. <laughs> oh, Mega Man is so good, but some of the stuff he does is so funny. Mm, Mars knew he was gonna go for that thunder, so he just drifted right next to him, down to the stage, and took it away. Sure, you can. Nice. <laughs> I th is he playing as Mega Man or as uh, Ken? I don't know, man. They're both in Marvel. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> hey, Marvel vs. Capcom is an amazing game. That's a beautiful video game. But this is not Marvel vs. Capcom. This is Smash Ultimate. We gotta wait, get back I, to this game. Wait, I thought we were. I thought this was a uh, Marvel vs. Capcom tournament. <laughs> I mean, with all these Shoryukens, it might as well be. <laughs> we got what? Four characters in this game that have them now. We got Luigi, Ryu, Ken. We got Mega Man. That's crazy, man. Oh, he's got that cloud down tilt. Oh my God! You know, I never noticed that. The Mario Brothers up, he was a sure you can technically. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Luigi's. Oh, actually, no, you know what? Uh, the Belmont's is too. It's actually a DP. It has some vulnerability on some of the startup frames. Wow, that back air a little bit. Oh. Wow! Oh, wow! What an edge guard. The down air. Oh. What was that? What just happened? I, I just missed it. This is like, it just happened so quickly. I think he came off the angel platform, bounced off Rush, and then up aired him to his death. I think that's what happened, and that was a pretty hilarious interaction. Oh my, I love when Mega Man throws those backwards. It just looks so hilarious. This character, while very accurate to his source material, his animations are also very, very funny to me. At some points. I mean, um, his animations in Mega Man Powered Up were pretty funny too. So That's true. He has, he has some silly animations, that's for sure. But, um... Mars is just going to keep this league going. DM really needs to find a way to deal with this leaf shield, but it's such an oppressive tool in so many situations in this game that it's going to be really hard for him to do in, in just one set. I'm sure he doesn't have too much experience for Mega Man because while this character is super good in this game, um, he was a really, really niche pick in Smash 4, so not a lot of people know what to do against him exactly. Mm -hmm. And his tools are relatively similar, except just significantly stronger in this game. Right. So Yeah, so I kind of skipped out on Smash 4 for the <laughs> most part. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a fun game for a little bit. I definitely had my fun, but that game needs to rest now. <laughs> yeah. Melee will live on. It will. That game is... People are pretty devoted, man. Ooh, nice. Uh, DM going to set him straight off stage. Mega Man struggles with the... Oh, no, he's just going to go high. He knew DM would try to go low and catch him, so... He just jumped straight up and said, nope. Mm, that up Ooh, Ooh, wow. Wow. Hey. We've been talking about sure you can so much, so it was a fitting way to end the match. I guess so. He saw his shield wasn't covering his feet, so he just went. <laughs> uh, that 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 move is crazy in this game. It's faster. It has less lag. When he does it underneath the platform, he lands on top of the platform, so it's a little harder to punish. You could like mix that up. If you fast fall, he goes through again, so it's like you can mix up where you land. It's 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 good. <laughs> Let's see, is DM gonna Yup. Oh. He's switching straight to the Pokemon trainer. Um I'm kind of curious if he does this because he has tech as a counter pick or because he's just extremely uncomfortable with fighting Mega Man as Pikachu. Either way, he's gonna go Pokemon trainer regardless, because in either of those situations he's gonna be more comfortable with this character. This is his main. Uh he has this as a secondary. He's played Pikachu since Smash 4. As far as I'm aware, he didn't play Brawl? No, I think he did, actually, but he didn't play Pokemon Trainer, I don't think. I don't know. I might be entirely wrong. I started playing this game in Smash 4, so... Mm. Wow, he's just denying Mega Man any ability to come back. That's it! He's dead! He's just oh, dead! Oh. That, that's probably why he's doing it, honestly. Is he one... Squirtle might just be really... Yeah! He goes straight through the Metal Blade as well. Down throw forward air is a really good combo with Squirtle. He can get a lot started off that down throw at low percents. 
That Leaf Shield is such a good option to land. It's actually insane. Like, sure, he gets nothing else, but it's just a constant disjoint around his entire body. Ugh. I don't remember him having that in Smash 4. Or... Um, the way Leaf Shield worked in Smash 4 was whenever a Leaf got hit, it would go away. It was slower. The hitboxes were small. It was just this, it was a terrible move, honestly. But in this game, it's, like, super strong. So let's see what Ivysaur can do against Mega Man. I know that that down air is definitely a force. It'll hit all the way through this entire stage. If he ever needs it to. Switching to Charizard. Yeah, really. He's switching to Charizard right now. Oh, okay. Yep. He's just going to hit him with the back air. This counter pick working out very, very well for DM. Oh, and that did not last long. I know recently he did take a set off of Mars. I don't know if Mars used Mega Man in the set, but DM did win against him recently. But, uh, oh, Mike, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Wow. That has to feel terrible, honestly. Pokemon Trainer, all three Pokemon, recovery is not exactly their strong suit. So Mars, just knowing that, just hits him with the, the down air. I mean, once you get him below the stage, just... Just do it's it. It's over. You just do it. Ah, two oh, shields. That Mega Man, that Leaf Shield. Hmm. You know, I always find it funny when two players are shielding at the same time and they're like pausing for a second and before realizing what's happening. Just a standoff. Just stare down. <laughs> hey, let's see. Um, a standoff for shield breaking. Ooh, that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Either way, this game is pretty much dead even right now, but Mars is starting to get something going here. Oh, he thought DM he would maybe air dodge down there? I don't know what else he would be reading, but... Either way, DM really needs to not let that down air get to his head. Yeah. He needs to keep doing what he was doing those last couple stocks because he had something going there. All right, nice nair to catch the, the Metal Blade and keep Mars from landing safely. Okay, uh. he's still just going to let him land for free again. Okay, yeah, it looks like Saibi can confirm. In one of the previous sets, uh, we saw him do a side B up air to finish off a stop. Wow! That moves And an up air to finish him oh, off. That's awesome. All right. DM, he might have been a bit flustered from that down air stock too, but uh, he still brought it back. He's still just giving Mars a run for his money. And uh, let's see what he can do in game three. Is this winner's finals? Um, I could go ask. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's winner's finals. We'll see it in the overlay in a second. But if it's winner's finals, I believe it's three out of five. Pokemon yeah, he's just going to stick with the Pokemon. I think, I think that Mars might... Oh, no, he's sticking with the Mega Man, it looks like. No? Mm, yeah, he's going to do it. No? No. No. He's not sure. He's going to do it, yeah. Yep. yep. What? Oh. Oh, I got psyched out twice. Never mind I, fighting I, him. I got psyched out in the character select. I think, <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think he was playing mind games there. I think he was. I think he was just contemplating his choices. Uh, Ike? Ike probably will do better, honestly. Ike can get gimped significantly harder, but at the same time, Ike will just oppress this character on stage at every single uh, corner. Every single front. Oh, this is... Oh. Yeah, that's where that can get really bad. Luckily, Mars finding a way back to the stage quickly enough. Yeah, he has so many tools just to stop Mars from ever getting back with this character. Mars seems to be seasoned with this disadvantage thing, though, so he, uh... He definitely gets back a lot of the time. DM really needs to start calling out these quick draws, though, somehow. I don't know which Pokemon has the tools to do it best, but he's going to need to make sure he covers those high recoveries because I'm sure Mars knows that the gimps are pretty much free when he recovers low, so he's going to go higher and try to mix it up up there. That was bold. <laughs> back throw. Decided to just throw him onto the stage there. Dash attack, that's gonna do it. Yep, he's dead. Yo. And the star KO. That move is really crazy. Uh, if you space yourself around a lot of moves, he does that giant lunge forward before the hitbox, oh. so it's super good at punishing lifts. Okay. Oh, and while I was just on a tangent there, DM just evening up the match. Good good stuff to him. Okay, down throw forwarder. That's a pretty solid combo in this game. Oh my god. See, Squirtle, I feel like, is like kind of like Great Value Mario. Like, he has the Flood, he has the Up Air Up E combos. <laughs> oh, side B across nice. the stage. From one ledge to another. Okay, down. Deciding to back throw instead. I thought he'd start a combo there. Okay, forcing Ike to... He had something going there. I see what he was trying to do, but Mars recovering fast enough to where it's not going to happen. 
Wow, I don't know what he was trying to read there. I don't even think that would have covered a roll. But, mm. The water, not having enough force to push him off there. Nair up air, that's a true no. combo. Man, Ike. Ike is powerful. He, he's so good. <laughs> he was so slow in Brawl, though. Yeah, he's fast in this game. Well, fast enough. It's not Ganondorf levels anymore. No, absolutely not. <laughs> well, Ganondorf is actually fast in this game, too. You can't sleep on Ganondorf, either. Yeah, I'm... You could tell based off of uh, who's playing as Gander for earlier. Ooh. Oh, nice. Down yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. That's free for Ivysaur especially because that down air is gigantic. You don't really need to work on spacing that for Ike's up at all. Okay, down tilt, forward air. Forcing Charizard into a recovery situation. Maybe he had the Flare Blitz scouted out there. That's why he jumped so high. Okay. DM knowing Mars was going to Tomahawk there. Can he make it? This is a yep. bad situation. Oh, he's going to switch to Squirtle. That was a dangerous time to switch, but... I think maybe. Um, I believe Switch has... Wow, that covered the roll. Wow. Okay. No, he, he, that was just... He, <laughs> he just barely made contact. There was a sword there, too. Yeah, he, he, almost... he hit him with his fist. He was like, bonk. Yeah, that was like... It was like if he if he'd just been a split sec... A couple of frames um, slower, then... Honestly, man. He would have he been... DM would have made it. I think that... Um... Oh, I was gonna say something. I think, yeah, I think the reason he switched there is because he thought Mars was gonna jump out in forward air, and I believe that Switch has some invincibility on it at mm. some point, so he was gonna armor through that and then yeah, up B. Uh, he, he might have thought Mars was gonna fall down, so maybe he was gonna squirtle up B him off the stage or something. But uh, either way, we're going to town this time around. Mars switches straight back to the Mega Man. Maybe he wasn't too confident in the, uh, the Ike pick. Maybe he just was testing the waters. Looks like this is a three out of five, however. God, that leaf shield is crazy. Okay. DM gonna send Mars straight off stage. Nope. Mars is gonna do the same. Mm, up there, a bit too late. Mars not using many pellets in any of these uh, any of these games, honestly. Leaf shield's enough. I feel like he's gonna pull it out again here. Ready? There it is. Yep. That comes out so fast. Okay, he's switching into Ivysaur now. I think maybe he wants to go for one of Ivysaur's very strong aerials to confirm the kill here. Okay, up air. That Yo, was nice! That was... Great awareness from DM. He knew that when Mars went around him, he'd pick up the Crash Bomber. Oh, wow. That was really nice. Oh, wow. Switching straight through that one, actually. DM getting himself a small lead here. I wonder if he's going to pick up anything off of it. Ooh. Mars on... Wow! <laughs> he tried to psych him out with that double spot dodge. Getting punished hard for that up B. Quick 30%. Okay, side B goes straight through. He knew he'd try to land with the um, the metal blade, so he just side B straight through it again. I wonder if that goes through Leaf Shield as well. That's why he's picking that option. It seems like he really likes to switch to Ivysaur at higher percents. Just because Ivysaur's yep. kill power is... Oh, nice. Wow. nice combo there. Down throw up B, barely not killing. That was great. That was a great combo. Oh, parrying the first hit, but not fast enough to get the second. Ooh, Mars, knowing better that time, he knew what happened first stock, so he didn't get uh, stuck by his own Crash Bomber mm. that time, getting off the ledge. It was risky. It's like his shield could have broken if... Um... If Mars hit him with an aerial or something, yeah. or a sure you can, yeah. Could have broken his shield straight off. DM knowing better. Knowing Mars wouldn't pick an option like that, though. Mm. Mars is struggling to reclaim center stage here. He was forced to shield and stay in place because of Crash Bomber there. Mm. I just start stuck off stage. Not a great recovery for this character. Wow, using Charizard's extra jump to make it back. Very smart play. All right, back here, sending him straight off. Oh, he went for that back. Yeah, that backer can actually start combos like that. Oh, the armor on the up B now. Going straight through the down air. Mars had him called out there, but DM just knew better. Very unfortunate SD for Mars. Okay. DM's doing a great job at keeping Mars off the stage in this, in this uh, game, honestly. The way this is going, we might see a game five. Okay. You know Mars is looking for that. Eee, I thought he was looking for the up tilt, but the forward smash point blank works too. Yeah, we had a pretty even matchup now. Yeah, this is an even game. It looks like DM plays this character very systematically in the way where he uses Squirtle early to gain openings, Ivysaur a bit later to start racking on huge percent and killing, and Charizard, but he really, really has to kill. 
It's very interesting to see how people utilize all three Pokemon. Right. Okay. And some people just main one over the other. Yeah. Yeah, some people just go straight up Ivysaur or straight up Squirtle, which I never really understood, but, I mean, people do their own thing, I guess. Okay. Mars evening up this game. This could be the end right here of this set. A B. And it's... No. Oh, it's not oh, enough. Oh, it's not over. Oh, that was so, so close. Ooh, Ivy start trying to wall him out with the back here, but Mara's just sliding straight through. Scouting out that option. Oh! Oh, he knew it! He knew something was coming. Wow. Great, great coverage from Mars, and that's going to do it. Taking the set 3-1. DM put up a great fight that time. That was really, really good on his part. But, uh, yeah. With that, I think I'm going to hop off. All right.